Welcome back guys, in this video I will be upgrading my CPU from Ryzen 7 3700X to Ryzen 7 5700X 3D. I assembled my desktop PC almost 5 years ago, even uploaded the video on my YouTube channel. Can't believe it's been so long, but here we are. I am on AM4 platform, my motherboard is MSI B450 Pro Carbon AC, this is why I did not go for Ryzen 7 7800X 3D processor, AM5 platform is required for that processor. Now there is nothing wrong with 3700X processor. It's still good for gaming even in 2024. I often test AAA games. Processor is able to handle most of them. But in some of these games that have poor optimization, I have seen the processor struggling. For example, Dragon Stockma 2 in the settlement area, I have seen the FPS drop down to around 36, 37. I occasionally play some competitive games as well. For example, Overwatch 2. My target performance is full HD resolution 240 FPS. On 3700X processor, I usually get a variable FPS 180 to 240. With 5700X 3D processor, I should be getting a stable 240 FPS. 5700X 3D processor excels in gaming when compared with other Ryzen 5000 series processors. I purchased it from Vedan Computers, an Indian online store, for around Rs 22,555. This processor is based on Zen 3 architecture, 8 cores, 16 threads, has a base clock speed of around 3 GHz. Boost clock speed goes up to 4.1 GHz, has a max TDP of around 105 watts, does not come with any cooler. So for the purpose of cooling it, I will be using deep cools, AK400 air cooler. This should be enough for gaming, but if you are into overclocking, I would recommend going for a beefier air cooler or even an AIO. You can check out deep cools AK500 air cooler. So first thing first, I need to remove my 3700X CPU and its Wraith Prism cooler from my motherboard. I'll be running an intensive application on my PC for about 30 minutes. Any benchmarking app will work. The idea here is to heat up the thermal paste. It will make the CPU cooler removal process easier for us. I just ran Prime95 torture test for around 30 minutes. Now before switching the CPU, just make sure your motherboard is running on the latest version of the BIOS. For this motherboard, I have already shown the BIOS update process. We'll drop the video link in the description. There's my RAID Prism cooler. It's a bit dusty. I have not removed it in the last 5 years. Right, so the thermal press has not turned into concrete otherwise it will be very difficult for me to remove the cooler so first we need to flip the black switch to the other side it's right here using my phone's flashlight this is the black switch that i'm talking about make sure your pc is switched off no power cable connected now disconnect any cable connected from the cpu cooler to the motherboard in my case it's the fan cable cpu fan cable so i'll just unplug it it's a bit hard to reach from here. There you go. The tripod is in my way. This is the 4 pin CPU fan cable, finally disconnected. Gently hold the cooler like this while you are flipping the switch. It will take some force. Just like this. Now this cooler has two plastic clips holding onto AM4 bracket. We need to unlatch them. In order to do this, we need to pull these clips towards us. There's the first plastic clip. You can see it's holding onto the AM4 bracket. We just need to pull it out. I'll try to remove it from the other side, right below the switch. Clip removed. I was finally able to unlatch the clip without removing the GPU. What I did was use my screwdriver, placed it here and pulled it out. Now guys, here's the important part. Do not pull out the CPU cooler directly. Otherwise, it may just rip out your CPU. It has happened to a lot of users. Just gently wiggle the cooler left and right like this. I have already loosened it a bit. Lift it up. There you go. This is the CPU socket. Now there is a triangle in one of its corners. There it is. A similar triangle is present in one of the corners of the CPU. We just need to align these triangles in order to place the CPU properly in the CPU socket. Just pull out the retention arm, unlock the CPU socket. There you go, it's open. Here's our processor, and there's the golden triangle present on its bottom left corner. Hold the processor from its sides. If you flip over the processor, you can see a bigger golden triangle. Check the pins, there shouldn't be any bent pins. Now just align the triangle of the processor with the triangle of the CPU socket. Make sure the retention arm is in the upright position. The CPU is finally in, just give it a slight wiggle. 
make sure it's not wobbly close the wrench and arm I'll be installing deep cools AK400 so I need to remove these AM4 brackets but need to retain the AM4 back plate using a Phillips head screwdriver same thing for the other bracket screws have been removed just pull out the brackets this is the AM4 back plate that I was talking about earlier we need to retain it in order to install deep cool AK400 CPU cooler just place the four orange spaces of the CPU cooler on the AM4 back plate standoffs like this now just place the AM4 bracket over the orange spaces like this we need to screw it in insert the screw in the other corner repeat the process for the other two corners AK400's mounting bracket has been installed now we are ready to install the CPU cooler here's AK400 it comes with pre-applied thermal paste so I won't be applying any thermal paste on the CPU just remove its fan place the cooler on top of the CPU like this deep cool icon facing towards the GPU and just tighten up the two screws connect the fan cable to the CPU fan header install the fan clip it in bit of cable management there you go guys everything has been installed now we are ready to boot up our PC with the newly installed CPU just install the glass panel it's the moment of truth guys I'll be switching on my PC let's see what happens fan is spinning just wait for a minute PC booted up it restarted processor detected Ryzen 7 5700X 3D restarted again it's a scary process there you go guys we did it windows showed up just sign into my pc just need to wait for a couple of minutes for the windows to boot up pc restarted many times do not worry it's a normal procedure show you cpuc name of the processor ryzen 5700x 3d motherboard b450 pro carbon ac bios version 1.h1 ram speed 1066 megahertz okay i need to switch to the axmp profile overclock my ram this is roughly 2133 megahertz so i'll just put into my bios first off my pc power it on and continuously spam the delete key yeah we are in this is the complete name of my motherboard's bios e7 b8 5ams.1h1 just click on overclocking then click on axmp you can see it's disabled i'll just select profile one adjusted dram frequency 3200 megahertz save and exit save changes and reboot we are in just open cpu z consider the ram frequency 1600 MHz. we are using the ram in dual child mode this means our ram is running at 3200 MHz. these are the cinebench r23 scores for my ryzen 5700 x3d processor no overclock applied single core score of around 1308 multi core score of around 12497 and this is the Cinebench R23 score for my Ryzen 3700X processor again no overclock applied using the old Wraith Prism cooler got a single core score of around 1049 and a multi core score of around 10650 that's it for the video guys I hope you found it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day